want to go to Disneyland today? Mima Sue, do we have to? We want to go on the railroad. We haven't been on it forever. Is Pop working on the railroad today? He sure is. He's working on the streetcar today. Let's go ask him if he wants to take us on another tour of the Too Much Fun Railroad. Thanks, Mima Sue. But first, we have to shrink ourselves down to G-scale size. Can we really do that? Sure. Pop and I do it all the time. Last evening, we shrunk ourselves down and we went to the Too Much Fun Circus. Hang on, everybody. Here we go. Hi, Pop. Hi, guys. I hear you want another fun ride on the railroad. We're in luck today. The next tour starts in about 10 minutes on the Southern Helix Line. So hop on board the streetcar and we'll get you over there as quickly as possible. Thanks, Pop. Welcome aboard the TMFRR Streetcar. Our ride to the Southern Helix will take approximately 10 minutes. We will be passing by several amazing areas, including the historic Route 66, Sue's famous diner, and Vic and Sue's Dinorama. All are open today. Your attention, please. We have arrived at the Southern Helix Line. Please be careful as you exit the streetcar. The Big Red Locomotive is ready to depart, so have a great time on your excursion. Welcome aboard, everyone, to the Too Much Fun Railroad Southern Helix Excursion. This is going to be a wower of a ride behind old number 20, old Big Red as we call her. Ain't she a beauty? We're lucky that engineer Vic will be transferring from the streetcar line and driving Big Red today during this thrilling ride. Everyone will need to take a seat or hold on tightly as we begin our steep ride to the top of Tabletop Chalet and our final destination at the Banff Helix Hotel. We'll be making several stops along the way and if conditions are just right, Engineer Vic might make a brief stop at one of the best locations for observing nearly all of the Too Much Fun Railroad. We have lots of guests aboard today, and they all want to have too much fun. So let's get rolling. Our first stop is the Land of Oz, where you can walk along the Yellow Brick Road and visit all four Wizard of Oz lands. Looks like some of our returning passengers are already meeting Munchkinland characters. For you first timers aboard the Too Much Fun Railroad, the Land of Oz is actually four separate scenes. In the first scene, Dorothy and Toto arrive in Munchkinland and meet the Munchkins and Glenda the Good Witch of the North. If you follow Dorothy up the yellow brick road to scene two, Dorothy meets the Scarecrow, Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion. If you're ready for more adventurous hiking on the Yellow Brick Road, be extra careful as you go through the Wicked Witch of the West Sea, as she is still here doing all her dark and scary antics. Your final scene is the beautiful Emerald City, where Dorothy is getting ready to, hopefully, return to her home in Kansas. For those of you who make it all the way to the Emerald City, you're in luck today as the wizard is giving free balloon rides back to the train. We'll be here for one hour, so go have too much fun. Hey kids, how did you like the Wizard of Oz walk? It was fun, but the Wicked Witch was scary. Welcome back aboard everyone. There's no place like home. As we start the next leg of our long and steep ride to the top, sit back and enjoy the ever-increasing views of the valley and mountains of the Too Much Fun Railroad. Since we have some time before our next stop, I'll give you a little history and some facts about the double track helix we're on today. As the owners of the Too Much Fun Railroad, Vic and Sue's growing interest in expanding the line across the vast boulder-covered west 
led to major construction of the Utah Mountains you see off to your right. The beautiful Utah Mountains then join with snow-capped Mount Madison and its ski resort. Obviously, for the trains to get back to the valley floor, there were only two options. Back up the train all the way to the valley or construct a southern helix. Well, they chose the helix option, and what a fun ride it is. We're on level two of the five levels, and as we ascend higher and higher, the scenery becomes even more spectacular. The double track helix's average grade is 17%, and we gain over 3,000 feet in altitude. Trains have a hard time with even a 4% grade. So how do we climb such a steep grade? Well, we use rack and cog locomotives and track. Special rack track and cog gears on the locomotives allow the train to ascend and descend very extreme grades. The Too Much Fun Railroad has three rack and cog locomotives. The one we're on, Big Red, a second one, LGB number 156, and lastly, the beautiful 1923 steam locomotive number 1067. You'll be riding on old 1067 later today. The double helix allows for the point-to-point -point tracks we're on, and the outer helix loop line is the longest of the 11 separate lines that make up the Too Much Fun Railroad. Your attention, please. Engineer Vic says we are ahead of schedule and we can make a 10 minute stop at the level four outlook. You can't exit the train, but there are spectacular views from all the cars. You can look straight down 2,500 feet to the valley floor. That's a long way down. So any of you needing to calm your nerves, the adult beverage car is open. Well, that was sure fun. And how about those views? We have about 30 minutes before we arrive at the hotel. So sit back and enjoy the spectacular views. We've arrived at the Banff Helix Hotel, and we'll continue our excursion behind the old 1067 in two hours. For those of you wanting to do a quick ski run down Mount Madison, be careful as all of the runs are very steep. Hey, Masu, can we go on the ski lift? Okay, but it's kind of scary being up so high. We're not afraid, me, Masu. Hang on, here we go. How did you like the ski lift ride? It was great. It was fun. Welcome back, everyone. We're now on the Helix Loop Line, the longest of the 11 Too Much Fun Railroad tracks. As you can see, we're being pulled by the old 1067. Ain't she a beauty? We use this locomotive workhorse to get us up and down the very steep 23% grades on the Helix Loop Line. Hang on, here we go. As we approach Red Rock Canyon, our next stop, we'll be exiting the train on the right side. There are plenty of things to do here, including art shopping at the Red Rock Gallery and a visit to the beautiful and historic Red Rock Mission built in 1767. Red Rock City Hall is rolling out the red carpet for visitors, where inside is a museum of Red Rock Canyon's extensive Western heritage. It's a must-see. Helicopter rides are available for anyone wanting to visit the Too Much Fun Hang Glider Park or visit the nearby active gold mining operations. Miners are ready to help you become the next Gold Rush Millionaire. We'll be here for one hour, so be careful and have fun. Mima Sue, can I go on the hang gliders? Sure, no one ever gets hurt on the Too Much Fun Railroad. We'll take the helicopter to the hang glider park. Be careful getting in the helicopter.
Edison, you'll be flying that yellow and silver glider over there. Here I go, Mimasu! Whoa, this is so much fun! Mimasu, this is Madison. Can you hear me? You're loud and clear. I can see forever. Can I go really high? Sure, it's really awesome way up high. Be careful! I will! There's Madison. She's going really high. Now I'm going to go really, really low. Whoa, I can see the old number five. Ain't she a beauty? I'm coming back now. Nice landing, Madison. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all had fun. Did anyone do the hang gliders? Maddie did. It was awesome. As we leave Red Rock Canyon, we'll travel across the highest bridge on the Too Much Fun Railroad. You can see below and off to the left, an 1840s wagon train setting up for the night as they travel the Wild West to the California Gold Rush. Coming up immediately to our right is the world-famous Moon Hole National Park. The perpetual rising moon is a spectacular sight for passengers aboard the TMFRR. Believed to be built by ancient aliens, this moon has been a beacon for travelers since 5000 BC. Looks like we'll have clear skies for viewing the moon. This will be a 10-minute stop for taking photos of this spectacular moonrise but be careful of the coyotes. Mima Sue, this is the prettiest moonrise I've ever seen. It is pretty amazing. Pop and I look at it every night and just wonder. Sometimes we wonder why we wonder, but that's another story. As we descend to the Northern Helix and all of its attractions, we pass directly over a live movie set where a cowboy and Indian Western movie is being filmed. Lots of action is going on down there. We'll be making a two hour stop for dinner at the Dragon's Lair restaurant, where you can enjoy outside seating and amazing views of the entire valley floor. After dinner, you can walk across the rope bridge to the Too Much Fun Castle and Jousting Arena. The king and queen invite you to take part in the fun. Welcome back aboard. As we leave the Northern Helix, we start our most dangerous part of the journey as we travel down steep, continuous curves to the valley floor. As you can see and hear, we have old Big Red back pulling us as she is better able to get around these tight curves. The sheer canyon walls reach over 5,000 feet straight up to the snow-capped mountains above the castle. Please keep your hands inside the cars as we will be passing several fire-breathing dragons. Our final stop of the day is your accommodations for the night at the Buffalo Ranch Motel. Built in 1875, this iconic place has been visited by hundreds of movie stars and notable world travelers, including John Wayne, presidents, and dignitaries. Be sure to check out the restaurant's famous two pound buffalo burger. It is amazing. We want to thank you for riding with us on the Too Much Fun Railroad Helix Lines. For those of you who booked the two-day train ride excursion, we'll be departing from the Buffalo Ranch Motel at 9 a.m. tomorrow when we will be traveling on the City Loop and the Fairy Garden Lines. For those of you who are up for some evening entertainment, the El Rey Theater is just a short walk. And tonight's double feature is The Great Train Robbery and for the kids, Go Go Thomas. Mr. Nick's Steakhouse has great food and the Castle Ridge Saloon has the coldest beer in town. Have a great night.
and enjoy all the sights and sounds of the Too Much Fun Railroad. Mima Sue, what a fun day. Can we do it again sometime? Of course! There's lots more to see on the Too Much Fun Railroad. Thanks, Mima Sue and Paul!